my original video had a copyright strike put on it by Tyler Perry Studios so I am revamping and trying to keep out of the way because I got two more strikes before they shut my new page down lessons learned Marcy is leaving a message on Kelly's phone she's telling her that she called her several times and she isn't returning her calls and would she please call her back it's Marcy you know she at the hospital it's coming Alice. back if loving you is wrong that's what I'm wondering well, how Randall's mom has cooked him dinner but he's picking over it. he's not eating much she's asking him a lot of questions about what's going on between him and Marcy what did she do to you what is I'm she fine. doing to you Okay. Don't come through the door just assuming that she's in the room. Randall assures his mom that he's all right. She seems to be satisfied with that. She says, all right. And with a raised voice, she says, maybe we'll let your wife do the dishes. Marcy says, I didn't dirty them up. That's right. I, I didn't dirty your house up, but I cleaned it up. That was your choice. Marcy takes a drink. And Randall's mom said, that's a lot of drinking. When is she leaving? I'm not leaving until I know my son is fine. That mother is fine. Everything. Oh, she was finna it's say that him I don't like the way you talking to me, Missy. Oh, that's it. You're a drunk. Well, if I am a drunk, it's because your son made me one. No one can make you anything that you're not already. Well, you don't have to put up with that, son. Randall's mom said, I warned you about marrying Marcy. Allie calls all the time. Marcy said, who is that? That's the woman my son should have married. I wish he had listened to you. Oh, awesome. blonde hair, blue eyes. As a matter of fact, yes. He has a type. Well, Marcy begins to tell Randall's mom the 411 about what's been going on. But Randall jumps in and says, stop it right now. Don't touch her son. He knows better. You know how those substance abusers are. You're crazy. I'm not the one with the liquor bottle in one hand and three wine bottles in the other. Oh, so good. You can count. I'm counting the days until my son leaves you. So am I. And I'm also counting the days until you die. Oh! Anyway. That was a little strong, Marcy. Evil. Just evil. She said she was counting the days till yes. his mama died. Evil. Be nice to my mother. She's come a long way. Well, she needs to go a long way back. Yes, as a matter of I'm in the room. Mm -hmm. Oh, she and don't that's care. Him. That's the problem. I already got him here. And now I got you in this house, too? Speak. Marcy, I think I need to go to bed. You need to go to a hotel. Yeah. yeah. Mom, you can have the master bedroom. That's where I've been sleeping. I'll sleep down here. Okay, go ahead. Sleep on the same floor as me. See if you wake up. No! She threatened his mom. Mom, she doesn't mean that. Are you sure? <laughs> yes she just needs to sleep it off is there a lock on the door <laughs> yes ma'am son are there any weapons in this house good question no ma'am you will put the knives away won't you good question mama okay I'll lock them in the shed I was right to go to all the mind games have led up to this <laughs> Eddie is at the precinct. He's talking to Lucian's new partner. Ben's hand got shot off. What? Hey. Eddie acting like really? he don't know. Yeah. Eddie tells Lucian's partner to get with him so he can show him the ropes. Later on, Lucian told his partner to stay away from Eddie. He wouldn't give him a reason why. He just said, just stay away from him. Lucian, you acting like you've been there for a while. Been a you just got there not too long ago. Randall goes into the shed to take the knives in there. 
he stops all of a sudden and stares. What? Brad is in there sitting in the corner in the dark, just looking. Oh, Brad and then shit. So this is where you did it. You took my wife into this filthy, dark, dusty place and she let you. Mm. You didn't even have the decency to take her to a hotel. That's right. Why? Answer me why. Why, Brad? Because I want to know. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You just got caught. I killed so many people in Iraq. I made a vow that I wouldn't hurt anybody else. Now I'm just thinking, what's two more? Oh. What's two more people to kill? Eddie is at the hospital, squeezing on Ben's hand. Ah! Mm. Eddie, leave that boy alone. He already in the hospital for something you did. Why are you here? Did Lucian come to see you? Yeah. What did you tell him? You know what he told him. I told him I was chasing a perp, but he started talking about pulling the tape. And Steven said, you know you shot yourself. So I just rolled with that. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all good. When are you getting out of here? Tomorrow. I'm going to need for you to do something for me tonight. Be in the hospital. Being protested. But Eddie said, please, you got shot, I got shot, everybody got shot. But that doesn't mean business stops. Crazy, Eddie. Now get your butt out of here tonight and go pick up my drops. Oh! You hear me? Check out the hospital and pick up his drops. You say? Yeah, I hear you. You need to tell on him. I believe Eddie's going to kill Ben. I believe he's trying to make him... <clears throat> I believe he wants him to check out of the hospital so he can take care of him that's my theory i think randall is getting ready to walk to the hospital he just tried to call alex and she didn't answer the phone again so he snuck out the the door and he walked down the street so only thing i can think of is that he's getting ready to walk to the hospital he must not be that far away <laughs> What are you doing? Alex woke up from her sleep and said, What are you doing here? Get out of here now. As I thought, he's at the hospital watching her while she was sleeping. As she rang for the nurse, Randall asked her, How are you doing? Do you know how crazy you look? You can't shut me out like this. You know we both did this. And you still doing it. She's trying to move on. Don't do this to me. Crazy. He's rubbing on her arm, talking about, I can't make it without you. I'm touching her. He is crazy. He needs to be watched. At this point, the nurse walks in and asks him, what are you doing here? And puts him out. Marcy wakes up in the middle of the night and reaches for her drink. Marcy waking up drinking. She looked out the window and saw Brad outside on the lawn. He was drinking too. Uh -huh. Brad drinking outside too. He in the in the lawn drinking. She just peeped him out there. She walks downstairs and asks him what was he doing. He said he was just getting some fresh air while the kids were asleep. Brad flirting. Don't. With Marcy. What? They flirting Excellent. with each other. They start flirting with each other and Brad asks her was she sure? And she said she was as sure as he was. Brad led her to the shed, and the whole while, Mama was upstairs looking out the window in shock. Mama is looking out the window, seeing it all. Looks like uh, Marcy and Brad is all the way in mm -hmm. on next episode. Next temptation to looking for it. Loving you is wrong. It's getting good, boy. Next week might be the season finale. And if it is, I'm here for it. See y'all next time. Peg Natural. Out.